Hi everyone, um, right, I've been making some more flowers, this was what I sat and did last night so I'm just going to show you these, they are really really pretty and I did make some into pins, <laughs> like brooches and things like that, I added lace to this one uh, and there are several of them, I like the double ones as well, they're really pretty. But you can put them on your handbags, on your hair, whatever you want to do with them. I did add that one. Remember the one I did yesterday, uh, the day before? So I added that to it. It looks quite pretty. One of the pearl sensors. And the bling with the lace. So just thought I'll show you those. They're all for sale if anybody wants them, just let me know. Oh, actually, we numbered the others, didn't we? Right, we'll do it this way then. I'll continue with the numbers and that way you know because there's two videos. There's one I did before with the vintage flowers on. So uh, we were up to 13, weren't we? So we'll say this, 14. That's number 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20, 21, and 22. Okay? Because I, I numbered the other ones. I forgot about that. Sorry. Right. Um, I've just been watching Glenda Cairns. <laughs> Glenda, brilliant idea. Glenda has been making these, showing us how to make them. Let me just lower my camera a little bit. Uh, that's it. Hi, I mean. Oh, God. Right. Okay. And she's shown how to make this. This is from the old nostalgia books. You know, them sort of books we've been uh, trying to revive things from. And uh, I think this is absolutely brilliant and will look great anywhere. And I've got a, a an idea uh, about even making this prettier. So, now, hold thought. Because I thought of an idea. Okay. Yep. Me likes that. You could do this with, I would say it would look better with a gathered lace. But right now I can't get my hands on a gathered lace. Because I've, I've got them all packed up. But I'm just going to show you. I'll show you how to make the ribbon. Because Glenda shows you, you can run along to Glenda Carnes' video. But I'm going to show you how to do the ribbon very simple, very quick. What I am going to do is, and I probably should put it on to a non-stick mat. Fiona, don't be so blooming daft. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to use mine in a project. Okay, so if you did that. You see, I like to see what I can do with whatever's been done. And uh, I've got to say, whoever it was, whoever it was that first came out with this, in the books I'm talking about, you know what I mean? I, mean, I haven't got that on straight, but I'm giving you the idea. And look at that trim. <laughs> or a gathered one. Wouldn't that be fabulous? Down the spine of a book. Okay, let's show you how to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I started mine here. But I'm going to just undo it. Just undo it like that. Now, you know the shape. Um, what you do is you take your ribbon and you knead it. Oh, I don't know. I've just cut a long strip. Because you can cut these off as uh, whenever you want to. What you need to do is cross them over at the front like that. So you're doing like the uh, breast cancer ribbon. Okay, so you've got that. Make a loop here on the left. You've got your loop. Turn it underneath and thread it through. Like that. Okay. Keep hold of them together like that. So you've got that. And then what you do is you pull on the right. You've looped the left. 
tucked it underneath, gone through the loop, and you pull like that. Now just take your time with it because you know you can faff about and, and get it wrong. Loop the right hand side and tuck it through the loop that's there in your left. Right? And then all you do is pull down. Make sure you, if you're holding this here so you can see your loop and then pull down. And what you're doing is you're pulling the ribbons onto each other on the side so it's a nice neat edge. You've got a loop. Take your ribbon on the right, loop it through on the left. Pull it through like that. Okay. Just hold it together and then you pull. Let me show it. Have I just done that right one? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you loop left, loop right, loop left, loop right. Okay, that's it, sorry. And you pull it down like that. Make sure you've got your loop. Loop and put underneath. And pull your left. Loop with your left. Tuck in. Pull with your right. Loop with your right. Tuck in. Pull with your left. And you can just make sure you keep them flat. Loop with your left. Tuck in. Pull with your right. Okay, you can pull it. It'll be fine. Just keep it flat. Loop with your right. Tuck in. Pull with your left. Loop with your right. Tuck in. Pull with your uh, right. Loop with the right. Okay, just loop it, hold it, pull. Make sure these are wide enough for you to tuck in. And keep them on top like that. Okay. Loop it, tuck in, pull. You can pull it pretty neat, you know, to pretty... And that's what you get. Look at that. And you're doing your own. So what am I doing now? Loop with your left. Tuck in. You can hold it like that. Hold it on top of each other so you've got it straight. And then pull with the right. Loop with the right. Tuck in. Hold it. Pull with your left. Loop with your left. Tuck in. Hold it. Just hold it on top of each other there. And then pull with your right. And, you know, I don't know how people... I mean, these must be going back centuries, the way they've done these. Because when you look at the um, the braiding on a whip, uh, that's the only thing I, that reminded me of this type of loop. Um, and you often, you know, when you see the braiding like that on a whip... You think, well, how the hell have they done that? The crisscross pattern. Well, now you know. Very similar technique. And as long as you keep that one on top like that and just pull it as far as it'll go, you're going to get a nice, neat finish. Leave the loop big enough. I've just sat and done that one um, that I've just shown you, and I did it so quick. But when you're actually showing somebody, because you've got to make sure they can see what you're doing, it's uh, you can't do it as quick. Like you say, you're just looping it and putting it through. Put each loop through each loop. Does that makes sense. Uh, make sure this is big enough, because you can always pull it down. Loop, pop through, pull on the last at left. Loop the left, pop through. It's just getting that initial start. Okay, and then pull on that. And then what you can do, if you do that, pull that, you get them all the same length. Isn't that fab? So I'm going to sit and finish mine in a minute, but what I'm going to do is just show you very slowly the beginning of that again. 
you cross your ribbon over like that okay so you've got that look I've shown you when I'm doing my laces you know when I'm doing my flowers that you do that oops <coughs> so you've got that take your left ribbon and make a loop like that turn it and stuff it stuff it <laughs> place it underneath through the loop okay and then you pull on the left uh, on the right so you've got that show you again I'm oh, sorry yeah, let's cross it over like that okay so you've got that loop the left and poke it through the hole through the loop first loop you did take hold of it and pull down on it You have to get it tight like that, okay? Because that's your beginning. Loop the right, poke it through, and hold it. Sorry, am I not in shot? And then you need to pull on the left one. Loop the left, take it through, pull on the right. Loop the right, take it through pull on the left loop the left take it through okay and pull on the right loop the right take it through pull loop Take it through, pull, loop, take it through, pull. <clears throat> and that's how you do it. So it's just the initial, it's the beginning you need. Okay? You make the loop. I'm just going to undo that. Hang on a minute. This is the beginning. You cross over the ribbon. You make your first loop and you tuck it through that one. Hold on to it and pull the right ribbon. You loop with the left, you pull with the right. Okay? And you get that initial start. Then you loop with the right and you're on your way. Do that and pull. Loop with the left. Do that. And pull. Loop with the right. Do that. Pull. Loop with the left. And pull. And so on like that. And you end up with that. And I think that's brilliant. And Glenda, thanks to you for showing us and I just think adding laces to it or whatever for the edge of a book is going to be absolutely stunning. Thanks very much for watching. Make your own trim. Bye-bye for now.